Hi everyone and welcome to the weekly update with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech Markets. Each week I take you through the key events I believe will be driving your investments in the coming days. Now, again, we're moving into this week with a lot of volatility in the markets. This time we've seen a sharp improvement in risk appetite. Coming over the weekend, we've seen the uh, oil price bouncing sharply on Friday on rumours that perhaps OPEC were finally about to cut production rates. And that certainly has helped to boost sentiment through the markets, even despite the fact we had disappointing data again out through Asian um, through Asian economies such as Japan and China over the weekend. We're still seeing this risk sentiment pulling through the markets, equity markets sharply higher. And also the big reversal of that safe haven flow, that uh, gold that was driving gold higher, was driving the yen strength and also treasury yields. Now it's interesting, how far can this move go? Because markets are increasingly concerned now. I think what we're now seeing is the markets in a phase of fear about how the fact that central banks have lost control of the global system. Now we're likely to see a sharp move, probably from the yen, uh, sorry, from the Bank of Japan at some stage in the coming days. It'll be very interesting to see what sort of reaction the markets give to that move from the Bank of Japan, if it were to be seen, that is. Now, moving into this week, we've got a lot of inflation data and a bit of UK data out, but we've also got the FOMC minutes, so lots to drive markets despite that. Anyway, so what is the outlook for in uh, the Forex markets this week? Well, we've seen the euro. The euro has been driving higher on the back of this safe haven flow. Bit of a reversal this week, but uh, in early day, um, early trading on Monday. But you've got the breakout level, 150 uh, so 110.50 to 111 is the big support band, the big pivot level that is the breakout level. And that I think is a, possibly even to be seen as a buy zone here on that euro as we've just drifted off uh, a little bit on Monday. Cable is an interesting trade as well, basically consolidating in a quite a tight range actually, just holding on to the gains. 143.50 to 144.50 is the key level that you need to watch out for there on cable for the bulls to remain intact, I think, for this potential recovery. Dolly N is obviously the big trade that everyone's been looking out for. Falling a thousand ticks in just under two weeks. Incredible move. Needs to retrace now. If this improvement in market sentiment continues, we could see a sharp move this week. It's already pulled through key Fibonacci level. It's looking out for the next Fib level of 38.2%. Around about 115 figure that Fib level comes in. Big, big overhead resistance of the supply line around 15, 115 spot 50 there on Dolly N. So it'd be interesting to see how this trade moves this week. Now for the equity indices, again we've seen the big fall away, the big supports being broken, we're just unwinding effectively back to these supports and we look at the DAX, 9307, 9308 is that big Fibonacci level, that fell, um, that broke to the downside recently, we're just unwinding back towards that, we'll see how the market reacts at that big overhead supply level. FTSE same sort of situation really, 5768 was the old support on FTSE that broke um, last week, needs to sort of hold on to the recovery, but FTSE is in a big downtrend channel now, again uh, rallies are being sold into and it uh, be interesting to see if the FTSE can maintain this move. The 55 day moving average is an interesting indicator on the FTSE. And in the commodity markets again, gold is a massive, massive trade that has needs to reverse now if this improvement in market sentiment continues. It looks like it's coming off. Big support around sort of uh, 1,180 towards 1,200 bucks. And again, the market sentiment is a key indicator here. Look at oil, oil again, rallying on Friday, rallying again on Monday. Will it continue? On the WTI, it's back towards that key net line of the breakdown at 29, 25, up towards 30, big figure. Can it break through that and maintain the break? $32 is the line of a big downtrend on WTI. So what are we looking out for the rest of this week? Well, as I said, we're looking out for a lot of inflation data. We've got UK on Tuesday, we've then got China, and we've also got the US to close the week on Friday. Three big numbers there for the um, for the Forex markets, and certainly sterling will be wor working off that uh, UK inflation data. The forecasts will actually improve slightly on uh, on Tuesday there. And also on Wednesday, we've got the big inflation, uh, sorry, big unemployment data, which includes 
the average weekly earnings for the UK. That is a big driver of uh, cable as well and sterling. And we need to see these inflation numbers starting to come through. Deflation has been a big issue for the markets in, uh, in the last few years. Need to see inflation starting to pick up to drive a bit of confidence back into the markets. And uh, will that be seen this week? So lots going on. We've also got the FOMC minutes. Markets didn't have the press conference um, in the um, in the last FOMC meeting, so the minutes will give some vital information as to exactly where the committee was moving. Certainly Yellen's congressional testimony just takes the shine off a little bit of those minutes, but certainly I think there will be focus on it because um, they'll uh, just fill in a few of the blanks um, from, the, uh, from the meeting. So lots going on this week, so I wish you good luck with all your trading and uh, I'll speak to you again next time. Thank you very much.